In a recent wave of consumer complaints, Chinese technology giant Xiaomi is now in the spotlight, joining Huawei in attracting public scrutiny and disappointment. A situation involving Xiaomi's OEM-produced appliances, humorously termed, quote, Xiaomi Water Heater Gate by netizens, has instigated a wave of widespread discussions online. A video blogger known as Xinjiang Big Cousin vented her frustrations on social media after encountering issues with a Xiaomi water heater she purchased in April. The appliance failed to function properly, automatically extinguishing every time it reached its maximum temperature. Despite her persistent attempts to seek assistance, Xiaomi's customer service offered nothing but evasion and superficial responses. The disgruntled consumer was eventually compelled to abandon her quest for redress and opted for a water heater from an alternative brand. The revelation of such poor service and product quality instigated a widespread reaction, with numerous individuals echoing similar disappointing experiences with Xiaomi's appliances and their subpar after-sales service. The company's unsatisfactory response to quality-related issues has been noted to turn former Xiaomi enthusiasts, or Mi fans, into critics. However, interestingly, some netizens noticed that the aforementioned video wasn't trending, with the reason being given, quote, the current content is not suitable for promotion. The vlogger explained that out of the four videos she produced on this topic, the first two were maliciously removed, leaving only the last two still accessible. The fourth video outlines the incident, but it's clear the vlogger hesitated to discuss her rights. Comments teased, quote, looks like they got to her. Earlier posts were deleted. In the face of capital, the individual has bowed down. And, quote, the tone has suddenly changed. Hard not to think you've been silenced. Xiaomi has remained silent on the matter. Such situations highlight the overarching narrative. Within the structure of the CCP, there's a tendency to suppress negative discourse, especially if it's unfounded. Issues with appliances are not uncommon, but the controversy surrounding Xiaomi's lackluster customer service and the apparent suppression of consumer grievances on social platforms stoke the flames. The vlogger elaborated on her ordeal, from being directed to change batteries to consulting natural gas companies for pressure testing and even changing gas lines, yet the malfunction persisted. To avoid her family resorting to cold water, she eventually opted for a different brand. This isn't Xiaomi's first quality control controversy. Numerous complaints about their product line's inferior quality have arisen over time. Videos of frustrated customers destroying Xiaomi appliances due to unsatisfactory after-sales service, and others changing their perception of Xiaomi after buying poor quality products have circulated online. Netizens who were initially fond of Xiaomi products have expressed growing discontent. One user's experience with a Xiaomi hairdryer exemplifies this sentiment shift. If you were to hear me out, you'd know I've always had a soft spot for Xiaomi, but guess what happened recently? I needed a hairdryer for my office, and after seeing Xiaomi's promotion that seemed on par with Dyson's, I got one. However, even when pressing it hard, it wouldn't blow any air. I thought it was defective, so I reached out to Xiaomi's official customer service. Their response? They asked me where I bought it and told me to resolve it with that seller. When I did, the seller said the warranty had expired and I'd have to deal with Xiaomi directly. It's so frustrating. If anyone knows the Xiaomi CEO, Lei Jun, please tag him on my behalf. With this level of service, their claims to change the world and their homage to Steve Jobs just feels off mark. It's rubbish. On Zhihu, a platform akin to Quora, a self-proclaimed die-hard Xiaomi fan shared their ordeal after decking their house with Xiaomi products. They faced repeated issues, from washing machines breaking down twice, to malfunctions in air conditioners, cleaning robots, dishwashers, cameras, speakers, and water purifiers emitting a foul odor without a fix in sight. In 2022, concerns over Xiaomi TV's screen detachment issues made headlines, echoing a narrative of diminished quality post-warranty period. One netizen claimed that the TV breaks down right after the warranty expires. Xiaomi, you owe me a refund. Your TV broke just three years into its use, precisely when the warranty expired. The repair team said it's a motherboard issue. You say your tech brings joy to everyone, but from my perspective, it seems to be bringing a rubbish experience to everyone. 
It's as if the CEO, Lei Jun, has some distant influence over this. I didn't buy your TV to just have it as decoration in my home. I bought it for use. Setting aside the matter of your subscription fees, the quality of your TV leaves me speechless. I have to ask, how can the quality be so poor? In my home, brands like TCL and Konka lasted for 20 years. Yet a modern smart TV like yours breaks down in just three. And it's not just the TV. Your phones also malfunctioned after the warranty period. Two of my Xiaomi speakers broke and even a lamp stopped working. I must ask, can't you improve your product quality? You audaciously advertise, claiming that Xiaomi TVs are of high quality and that one TV could last three generations. From what I've seen, that's far from the truth. According to public reports from outlets such as China News Network, Xiaomi had twice responded publicly to concerns raised about their products. Initially dismissing the issues as isolated incidents or rare events, Xiaomi later acknowledged that a, quote, very small number of units from two batches might experience screen delamination. Ultimately, Xiaomi promised free home inspections for the affected batches and extended the warranty by two years, effectively admitting to their product quality issues. On the Black Cat complaint platform, complaints regarding Xiaomi's after-sales service are overwhelming. Issues ranging from refrigerators making unusual noises and overheating to lack of progress even after a week of reaching out to their customer service and malfunctioning external units of air conditioners within just three months of purchase have been reported. Frustrated customers feel exploited by Xiaomi and many are losing trust in the brand. Xiaomi was once hailed as China's hope for the future, especially in the tech sector. Their phones represented a new era for Chinese products. In 2014, Xiaomi ventured into the IoT sector with their iconic Xiaomi socket. Over the following years, Xiaomi continued to innovate in the IoT domain, introducing the Mi Home ecosystem concept in 2016. This comprised various products from routers, power strips, razors, toothbrushes, cameras, to large appliances like washing machines, TVs, and refrigerators. Today, the Mi Home ecosystem boasts a vast array of products, and Xiaomi is considered to be a premium national brand. However, the company, which once captured the hearts of tech enthusiasts and rode the waves of technological trends, is now facing a PR crisis on social media. The primary reason seems to be Xiaomi's OEM production mode. Dong Ming Zhu, the chairman of Gree Electric, publicly stated that Xiaomi's appliances are mostly OEM productions. Media reports indicate that, during a CCTV program, Mingju highlighted that while Gri Electric uses a heavy asset model, Lei Jun uses a light asset one. Mingju believes that Xiaomi essentially uses other manufacturers to produce their labeled goods. Xiaomi's OEM isn't just about simple manufacturing and brand authorization. For instance, data from Tianyan Check indicates that Xiaomi's investment platform Tianjin Jimmy Investment Partnership Enterprise is a shareholder of Ningbo Jidu Electric Company Limited, a significant white goods producer for Xiaomi's Mi Home ecosystem. Opinions on Xiaomi's deep involvement in Ningbo Jidu plus OEM model are mixed online. Some users on Juju believe that not all Xiaomi appliances are merely OEM and that the company is involved in all of the R&D and production processes. However, for most consumers, the debate over OEM is secondary. What's primary is the quality of the product they purchase. Customers buy Xiaomi products because they trust the brand. While OEM doesn't inherently imply inferior quality, concerns about Xiaomi's OEM production suggest that the company might not be delivering top quality products to its customers. Online, complaints about the quality of Xiaomi's home appliances are ubiquitous. However, paradoxically, Xiaomi's profit margins in this sector have been on the rise. Notably, their financial reports highlight a significant growth, a 32% surge from 16.8 billion yuan in the first quarter of 2023 to 22.3 billion yuan. Analysis of Xiaomi's financial statement points out that this uptick is largely due to the increased profitability of certain consumer products and robust growth of higher margin items like tablets. This surge prompted netizens to question, why is Xiaomi's performance booming despite the glaring quality issues? Some online responses credit the sweltering weather of the second quarter as a catalyst for Xiaomi's performance boost. However, a closer examination of the data provides a more nuanced understanding. 
Xiaomi's mid-2023 report reveals that the gross profit margin for its IoT and consumer products segment rose from 14.3% in the second quarter of 2022 to 17.6% despite the lack of notable movements in sales revenue. This suggests that Xiaomi's aggressive cost-cutting strategies might be a primary driver behind its financial growth, which might, in turn, be impacting product quality. From their 2022 annual report, it's evident that Xiaomi, which once soared in popularity and market dominance, is now experiencing a slowdown in its growth trajectory, both domestically and internationally. On March 24, 2023, Xiaomi unveiled its financial results for the fourth quarter and their entire year of 2022. Over the year, Xiaomi achieved a revenue of 280 billion yuan, marking a decline of 14.7%. Their annual profit was 2.5 billion yuan, down by 87%, and their adjusted net profit stood at 8.5 billion yuan, a drop of 61.4% from the previous year. Breaking down the revenues, Xiaomi's smartphone business garnered 167 billion yuan, a decrease of 20% year-on-year. Their IoT and consumer products brought in 79 billion yuan, down by 6%, while internet services generated 28 billion yuan, a slight uptick of 0.4%. Concurrently, Xiaomi's strategy in India seems to be faltering with investments not yielding anticipated returns, indicating a disparity between the company's expected outcomes and reality. Despite producing a majority of its phones in India to cater to the Made in India initiative, Xiaomi has faced challenges in meeting the nation's demand. A combination of factors such as India's underdeveloped mobile industry chain and insufficient production capacity at their OEM Foxconn's Indian facilities has caused these setbacks. With India now emerging as the second largest smartphone market, Huawei is gearing up to strengthen its presence there, further pressuring Xiaomi to step up investment in order to increase foothold in the market. Adding to Xiaomi's woes, on June 9th, Indian authorities seized a staggering 55.5 billion rupees, approximately 4.8 billion yuan, from Xiaomi. The Indian authorities justified the seizure by alleging, quote, illegal funds transfer to foreign entities and, quote, violations of the Foreign Exchange Management Act. This massive financial holdup, which represents 57% of Xiaomi's global profit from the previous year and six times their nine-year profit in India, has undoubtedly compounded Xiaomi's operational challenges. However, despite their catastrophic loss, Xiaomi is still increasing their investment in the country, hoping to gain more market share. In its ambition to adopt a new energy development strategy, Xiaomi has incurred significant, quote, silent costs in its car manufacturing process. In 2022, they invested 3 billion yuan in innovative ventures like electric vehicles, with their annual R&D expenditures reaching 16 billion yuan. Research personnel accounted for nearly half of Xiaomi's staff. Since Xiaomi announced its foray into car manufacturing on March 30th, 2021, its stock price has plummeted from 25.75 Hong Kong dollars per share to 12.44 Hong Kong dollars per share as of March 24th, reflecting a staggering 51% decrease in market value. In 2022, Xiaomi's quarterly net profits were recorded as 500 million yuan, 1.4 billion yuan, negative 1.5 billion yuan, and 3.1 billion yuan. With these figures, expenses related to Xiaomi's automotive sector totaled 425 million yuan, 611 million yuan, 829 million yuan, and 1.2 billion yuan, respectively. Excluding the impact of these car-related expenses, Xiaomi's net profit for the respective quarters could have been higher by 85%, 45%, 56%, and 38%. Alarmingly, despite such dismal financial numbers, Xiaomi's investment in car manufacturing lags behind its peers. Comparing the 2022 R&D expenditures of Xiaomi's automotive division across all four quarters with that of competitors, such as NIO, reveals that Xiaomi's funding still falls behind. This indicates that if Xiaomi aims to produce superior vehicles, more significant investments are essential. This trend will likely persist up to the launch of Xiaomi's vehicle next year. Simultaneously, Xiaomi's smartphone business is losing ground in the domestic market. Canalyst data reveals a 21% year-on-year drop in Xiaomi's smartphone shipments for the first quarter, outpacing the global decline of 13%.
Despite Xiaomi's strategic emphasis on the high-end segment, they've witnessed limited success. Their mid-range phones remain their primary contributors, and there's even been a 3% year-on-year decrease in the average shipment price. Xiaomi faces stiff competition, with its smartphones lagging behind contemporaries like Huawei and Oppo. As they venture into the electric vehicle domain, they are facing challenges and are unable to compete effectively against specialized brands in terms of performance, intelligence, and service. Issues with the quality of their IoT products further strain their standing in the market. Amid an increasingly competitive environment, Xiaomi is looking to realign with its core values and persuade consumers of its authenticity. Reports suggest that on September 25th, during a core leadership conference, Xiaomi announced its 10-year ambition and technological strategy. Lei Jun, Xiaomi's founder, emphasized the company's guiding principle of, quote, genuine passion. He elaborated on eight aspects of this philosophy, the foremost being befriending the user. However, just days after, the controversies surrounding their water heater emerged, making it even harder for consumers to trust Xiaomi's original intentions.